Imagine waking up in a world where Windows is no longer the default. No start button, no blue screen, no Microsoft at all. Instead, your laptop boots into a sleek new interface called Harmony OS. Built by Huawei, powered by China, and spreading across millions of devices at lightning speed. What began as a mobile experiment is now turning into a global challenge to Microsoft's dominance. And here's the real shock. In China, Windows is already disappearing. So could Harmony OS actually replace Windows worldwide? Or is this just another tech illusion backed by politics and power? Unlike Windows, which was built around personal computers, Harmony OS is designed for a connected world of devices what Huawei calls the One Plus Eight Plus N ecosystem. One phone connects to eight major categories of hardware, tablets, laptops, wearables, TVs, speakers, smart cars, and more, each seamlessly interacting with each other. No cables, no separate logins, no compatibility headaches. Harmony OS turns your digital life into one continuous environment. Behind the scenes, Huawei has spent billions building this independence. After being cut off from US chips, cloud services, and app stores, the company doubled down on self-reliance. They developed their own chip architecture with High Silicon, their own app gallery, their own developer tools, and crucially, their own kernel, the core of the OS. By 2024, Huawei replaced the last remaining lines of Android code in what they now call Harmony OS Next making it a fully independent operating system. That's something even Samsung never achieved. And here's what's truly impressive. It's not just a Chinese story anymore. Huawei has begun testing Harmony OS laptops to directly challenge Windows PCs in China. And early reports show millions of Chinese users switching. The reason? Harmony OS runs smoother, boots faster, and integrates tightly with Huawei's AI features from voice assistants to cross-device productivity tools. In a world increasingly powered by AI and data privacy, Huawei is offering something that feels fresh, modern, and sovereign. But this rise of Harmony OS isn't happening in isolation. It's part of a broader global shift, where nations and corporations are trying to escape the technological dominance of the West. And Huawei, intentionally or not, has become the symbol of that rebellion. The question now is, can Harmony OS truly challenge Windows? Not just in China, but on a global scale. Because if it can, this isn't just another software war. It's the beginning of a new digital world order. In 2024, Beijing quietly began replacing Windows across public institutions with domestic systems. The Chinese government officially approved Harmony OS and Kylan OS as secure alternatives for state use citing data sovereignty and cybersecurity concerns. Within months, ministries, banks, and major corporations started the transition. Microsoft didn't even get a chance to negotiate. The message was clear. Foreign software can't control national infrastructure anymore. The impact on Microsoft's China operations has been massive. PC manufacturers like Lenovo and Huawei have begun shipping Harmony OS-powered laptops by default for Chinese users. Microsoft Office is being replaced by WPS Office, and Microsoft Edge by Harmony Browser, built on domestic frameworks. Even AI assistants that once ran on Windows are now integrated directly into Harmony OS, using Huawei's own Pangu AI models instead of OpenAI or Copilot. To the outside world, it might look like a simple operating system swap, but it's far more than that. It's digital sovereignty in action. China wants to ensure that its data, users, and AI infrastructure are completely insulated from foreign interference. Harmony OS is not just software. It's a strategic defense system, disguised as a user-friendly interface. And while China builds its digital wall, the rest of the world faces a different challenge. Data surveillance and online tracking are increasing everywhere. Governments, advertisers, and hackers are watching what we do online often without our knowledge. That's why protecting your privacy has never been more important. This video is sponsored by NordVPN, the trusted leader in online security. With NordVPN, your data stays encrypted, your IP hidden, and your browsing safe, 
whether you're on Windows, Mac OS, or Harmony OS. And right now, you can get a 73% discount using the link below. Don't wait until your data is exposed. Protect it today with NordVPN. Now, as privacy becomes the new battlefield, one question emerges. If Harmony OS represents China's secure digital fortress, can Microsoft defend its empire in the rest of the world? Microsoft isn't watching quietly from the sidelines. The company knows that losing China, the world's second largest PC market, would be a devastating blow. That's why 2025 has become the year of Microsoft's counteroffensive. First, Microsoft is rebuilding Windows around AI. With the integration of Copilot, Windows 11 and 12 are transforming into intelligent platforms capable of automating tasks, generating text, and optimizing workflow, all powered by OpenAI's models. It's no longer just an operating system, it's becoming a personal digital assistant. But here's the irony. China doesn't have access to OpenAI, meaning Harmony OS is building its own alternative AI ecosystem. So, while Microsoft leans on Western AI, Huawei is creating its own, completely offline, sovereign, and secure. Second, Microsoft is forming alliances with Western and Asian manufacturers to lock in market share. Dell, HP, and Asus have been quietly offered incentives to pre-install Windows and Microsoft 365 for global markets. At the same time, Microsoft's cloud division, Azure, is expanding aggressively into Europe, India, and Africa, territories where Huawei still faces trade restrictions. It's a strategic containment plan, but there's a deeper game here, control over developers. Microsoft owns GitHub, Visual Studio, and a massive ecosystem of enterprise tools that Harmony OS can't yet match. Developers are the oxygen of any OS. Without them, even the best software dies. That's why Huawei has been offering massive incentives, even cash rewards and tax breaks, for developers to port their apps from Android and Windows to Harmony OS. So far, the results are promising. Over 800,000 Harmony OS native apps are already in the ecosystem, but Microsoft still holds the advantage in productivity tools, gaming, and professional software like Adobe, AutoCAD, and Office, for now. Because here's what's coming next. Huawei isn't trying to copy Microsoft's old model. They're trying to leapfrog it. Harmony OS doesn't need to win every PC. It only needs to dominate the next generation of devices, smart screens, EV dashboards, and AI-integrated systems. That's where Windows looks outdated. And if Microsoft doesn't reinvent itself fast, it might soon find its empire surrounded. What's unfolding right now isn't just a competition between two operating systems. It's a digital cold war. On one side, the West, led by Microsoft, Google, and Apple, dominates most of the world's devices and software infrastructure. On the other side, the East, driven by Huawei, Tencent, and Alibaba, is building a parallel ecosystem, one that no longer relies on Silicon Valley's permission to function. At the center of this divide stands Harmony OS. Huawei isn't selling it as a Chinese Windows, but rather as the core of a new digital civilization, an ecosystem that connects everything, from your phone to your car, your home, and your workplace, all without leaving Chinese networks. It's a bold strategy that aligns perfectly with China's Made in China 2025 vision, to dominate not just hardware, but the software that controls it. In 2025, Huawei made a decisive move. It announced Harmony OS Next would drop all Android app compatibility. No more Google frameworks, no Western code base. Many Western analysts called it suicide, yet the Chinese market proved them wrong. With millions of developers migrating, Harmony OS has become the first truly post-Android OS. Independent, fast, and deeply integrated with Chinese AI infrastructure. Meanwhile, Windows continues to reign in the West, but its dominance is showing cracks. The younger generation no longer depends on Microsoft Office or even desktop computers. They live inside mobile ecosystems, Apple's, Google's, or soon Huawei's. The PC era that made Microsoft rich is fading, replaced by cross-device ecosystems and AI assistance. And Harmony OS, being built from the ground up for this connected future, may have the architectural advantage. The US is fully aware of the implications. 
If Harmony OS spreads beyond China into Asia, Africa, or Latin America, it could reshape global software standards, pushing U.S. tech companies out of critical infrastructure markets. That's why Washington has already moved to limit exports of AI chips, servers, and developer tools to Chinese companies. But just like with semiconductors, these sanctions are only accelerating China's determination to build its own digital empire. And make no mistake, this battle isn't about who has the better interface or faster boot time. It's about who controls the future of computing. Every operating system defines what people can access, what data is shared, and which AI models shape our worldviews. In that sense, Harmony OS and Windows are no longer just products. They're weapons in a much larger geopolitical war. The battle between Harmony OS and Windows is more than just a story about two tech giants. It's the beginning of a new digital order. The world is splitting into two ecosystems, one powered by Western companies that prioritize profit and cloud dependency, and another led by China, focused on control, sovereignty, and integration. Harmony OS may not replace Windows overnight, but it's planting seeds that could redefine the next decade of technology. Imagine a future where most smart devices, from phones to cars, even cities, run on a Chinese-built system entirely disconnected from Silicon Valley. For the first time in decades, Microsoft isn't the one setting the rules, it's reacting to them. In the end, the question isn't which OS will win, but which vision of the digital world we want to live in. One where innovation is open and shared, or one where it's guarded behind national walls. Whatever happens next, one thing's for sure. The age of Western software dominance is ending, and a new technological era has already begun. If you found this video insightful, hit like, share it with others, and subscribe for more deep dives into the global tech wars ahead.